hated home life anyway. What was the big deal about this book anyway? Maybe he should open it and find out. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur, and now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Called the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? Laughed the Raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base and we'll spare your life! It called. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the Pillars of Heaven, a sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time, unless Renardo could bring a game-changer. Maybe he could. Renardo had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper, the legendary weapon that had exiled the Lost Gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him, Renato dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lupino or the Sky Ripper. Below or the sky, you can make new all. Yalla. Every child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces. Brought them to light. This Emperor. Isengrim III had once been kind, but he'd gone mad. And now he was conducting secret, obscene rituals to bring back the lost gods. Had he, somehow, summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth? It was more than Renardo could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. Old Sipur Meratek. Bahaiti Basofani Khayab Lamara. مرتيت خوشي مصيطو As he set foot on the island Renardo could not help but feel a tinge of guilt He'd left Lepino behind He hoped the mad rabbit had somehow escaped the ravens He hoped they hadn't eaten him And if they had He hoped they hadn't eaten him alive Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? Renardo never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? If I craft a sword now, it's going to be really short. Whoa. 
there let People still use doorknobs. Oh. 